Welcome back. Now at this point, you may be looking at the playlist and thinking, wait a minute, I thought this was 100% run. I just saw him beat the game last week, so why is this still going? Well, there's an easy explanation for that. I don't like to lie. So, when I say I'm going to do a 100% run, I mean a 100-100% run. That's all parts and all conversations, which basically means I have to finish this game at least three different times. It's going to be ten in the background, but you're just going to see the rest of that in editing. So, this time, we're playing a zero. And, while I play a zero, I'm also going to cheat just a little bit. Let's see. Don't need auto charge, because I'm using zero. There's not really a point. Now, let's see. The way I'm going to cheat is I'm going to use Black Zero. The reason why I'm using Black Zero is because I suck at Zero. Terribly. It's just plain awful. So, um, I meant to show it at the end of the last video, but I accidentally skipped it. The way that you use Black Zero or the Ultimate Armor is a cheat code that you enter at the character selection stage. So, for Zero, it's down twice and then up nine times. You're gonna hear that sound, then you can select. Now, I'm only showing things that you didn't get to see on the X playthrough that I did a week ago. So I can actually skip all of this, which makes my life that much easier. Normally, even if you're doing a zero playthrough, nine out of ten times you do not want to start with zero anyway, because the only thing that you, only thing that you actually get from starting with zero is you get the crappy zero buster that there's not really a point of using. It's much better still to start off with X, that way you still have an armor to use. Now, the zero playthrough is a lot different from the X playthrough. If you're doing a full zero playthrough, you can skip a lot of things. I will get into that as we get into those individual stages. Alright, now, Zero starts off a little bit different from X. Well, actually not that much because it's X5. In X5, when you start off with X, you can still aerial dash. Zero starts off with the aerial dash. He also uses the saber, it's a three-hit combo. He does have a long-range attack. It's not all that good, so you'll probably rarely see him use it during this. It's the Zero Buster, and it's the only reason why you start off with Zero besides starting off with the black armor. It's not worth the zero buster is not worth it if you're trying to decide between going with zero or x but the black armor is worth it if you're doing a zero on the playthrough unless you're just much better at zero than i am now the black armor has a couple more features to it zero takes about 50 percent less damage when you're using it as well as it deals more damage but i can't tell you exactly how much. i just never tested it he also has three parts automatically equipped, which means that is, which means that those are three slots that you don't have to worry about wasting. The three parts that he has is shock absorber, which basically means you won't get knocked back if you get hit. He has shot eraser, which if you slash your sword, when the shot's coming at you, it will erase the shot, basically giving you a, def a defense against long range. And what's the last one? The virus. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but what it does is it takes more hits for you to become infected. If you're X, that's a good thing. Being protected from taking damage from viruses. Because the way what happens is when X is infected, he actually starts taking damage over time. Until it goes away. Which isn't important because I haven't shown that. I might show you in the final playthrough, but that's a still not the story. With Zero, he actually gets stronger. He doesn't take any damage, he just gets stronger. So that's actually a downside to the black armor. 
And since being infected with viruses doesn't affect your ending, even though it's a part of the ending, it doesn't affect your ending, then there's not really a reason to have it equipped on the black armor. So it's actually a negative rather than a positive. Oh, I can skip this. Zero is also a lot more agile than Exodus, which makes getting through stages a lot easier at Zero than they are with X. There's a downside to Zero. Even though a lot of Zero's weapons don't use energy, the ones that do use a ton of energy. And, well, due to the fact that you don't really have a way of avoiding spike damage, really can't get a lot of heart tanks, which is a problem. Zero probably needs the heart tanks more than X. Now, something cool that I didn't mention in the X playthrough, but I should mention here. X is on the ground, but unlike Zero when you're playing through X, you don't see his arm missing. This is important, because this means you cannot use the fourth armor at all if you start off with zero. He gets damaged in a fight and then you can't use it anymore. If you start off with X, you see his arm laying on the ground, which is actually his buster. Which isn't important because zero uses his saber 99% of the time anyway. Zero and bosses. This boss is no different if you start off with zero. Just the dialogue changes, that's the reason why it takes so long. Zero, you can abuse his combo to deal more damage against bosses. Because he has shorter invincibility periods. He causes shorter invincibility periods than X does. You can actually get around those with X as well, but it involves manipulating your charge shots, and, and it's. When you're using this core of a controller, you really don't want to have to deal with it. Yeah, yeah, I'm blaming the controller. Maybe the old last playthrough I'll use a good controller. Now, went through all of this on the first playthrough, so there's not really a reason. City this so that's I'm trying to fly through. Now, the difference between this playthrough and the last playthrough is instead of going for the Enigma destruction of the space station, I'm actually going to go for the space shuttle destruction. I don't know how that's going to turn out because, well, that's a different story that I'll probably explain on the seventh stage. But. That's it for the first stage. Well, the intro stage. First up, be Grizzly Slash. Go ahead and skip this so you don't have to see. 